I'm Ken Moody. Welcome to Ken Moody Hunting TV, or as we should call it this week, Wild Boar Hunting TV, because that's what we're bringing you, wild boar hunting action, the way we like to do it at Clark Range Hunting Lodge, with the dogs, chaos, mayhem, boar hunting. Hey, don't go anywhere, you don't want to miss this action. Slick Trick Broadheads presents Ken Moody Hunting TV. Ken Moody Hunting TV is brought to you by Slick Trick Broadheads, Elite Archery, North Fork Technologies, True Fire Releases, Vapor Trail Archery, Gunner's Taxidermy, Fauna and Flora Custom House Brokerage, and Ken and Paul's Family Steakhouse. Our first hunt today comes to you courtesy of Pete Crawford. Pete's the owner of Elite Archery, which is our bow sponsor. He's a great guy and they make great equipment. Let's see what happens when Pete meets Boar. Are we ready, Pete? I guess so. Yeah. The track on, uh, That's right. He says he's we ain't even had no bacon this morning. We're about to get some, though. We're going to have to cook it when we get it, though, ain't we, T-Bone? That's correct. <laughs> I ain't never had nothing chasing me, though. <laughs> It's going to be intense this morning. Well, Jason didn't get us last night. It's a little camp. Feels like Friday the 13th. Hope we got more than just that one dog. <laughs> I ain't going to lie to you. I ain't never done this. I've seen it. But uh, for a fat boy from Georgia, this is it's a little uh, adrenaline rush. I don't know if that's such a good sign. That's the first place I ever hunted that had a first aid kit hanging off a tree. chasing these things. Three. <laughs> Pete's gonna Good put job. some meat on Let's some wheat. Alright. 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 Alright.
Oh my goodness. One time he was in the creek, the first time he looked right at us and I said, hey, where the tree? Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're scoping out trees now, but it was nice to have him down below us. I'm going to tell you what, the old redneck in job. me once again come out because I come up right here and I come up behind Chuck with video and right before you shot and he was standing there at about 15, 20 steps and I'm, I'm I put the shadow draw on him. <laughs> That's like playing air guitar. Yeah, that's like air guitar. <laughs> guitar hero. Good job, Pete. Great, Dave. That's, that's awesome, awesome man. There's two camera views on that, too. That worked out great. That's a good hawk. Awesome. I never forget looking at old Pete. He had this poker face. I mean, he was laughing a little bit, but once it started getting closer to getting within range, I mean, he was straight, just blue steel, son. Awesome. You smoked him there. Pete Crawford, one serious customer. I'm telling you, he's a lot of fun to cut up with in camp. He jokes, he laughs, he's easygoing, great guy. Uh, I like him a lot, but when it comes to hunting, he's deadly serious. And when they were finally able to get into position to make that shot, Pete moved up, put it on him. Outstanding job, Pete. We enjoyed having you here. Now our next hunt comes to you from uh, Travis T-Bone Turner, and he was just a little apprehensive about going after his boy. We'll be right back with more Ken Moody Hunting TV. Okay, this second hunt comes to you from Travis T-Bone Turner, one of the bone collectors himself. I'm telling you, Travis was just a little shook before he went out on this hunt. Wild boar can be aggressive, they can hurt you, and Travis knows he's not the most agile hunter in the woods. <laughs> The main problem was I'd just been attacked myself the day before and put in the hospital. So he was a little antsy. And uh, you know, the funny thing is, Travis, biggest guy in camp, biggest guy on the hunt, shoots the smallest hog. But uh, let's take a look at that action. Big Cabone is up, man. T-Bone, this is his first hog hunt right here. This is T-Bone's first hog hunt. Now you gotta know, T-Bone in the last two years lost 250 pounds, but he still ain't feeling real agile. And you can see the uncertainty in his face. Some hogs are baited up over here, barking, dogs are hollering. And Bone has got a very concerned look, but you watch, he's gonna walk right in there like any old Georgia redneck would do, and he's gonna shoot. Now T-Bone can shoot a bow, he might stick out there about 50 yards and shoot. <laughs> There's no doubt, especially after we found out what had happened to Ken, T-Bone was very anxious. He was concerned. He was scared, to be honest with you. It's go time. I guess you hear that. That's pork product, baited up in a blow down. If I do my job. We'll be putting some meat on some wheat. <laughs> there you go. That's a good hand. Super cut would be better, wouldn't it? The camera guy. This hog's bait off in this gun. We have to be real careful because we got an open place, no trees around the climb. One good thing is, I see the first aid box just around the corner. Close to pooping down both legs right now, y'all. <laughs> both legs, you get both legs. Both legs. <laughs> that air blew all the way through it. Oh man, it's, it's, like, it's right there. Can you say kinetic energy? Hey, you had, you had, you had just a spell. You had just a spell of concern on your face until that arrow left the boat. Look at that. Damn, that was awesome, dude. That, that is really awesome. Cool. Hey, what you want, oh my goodness. <laughs> this is a hoot. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. You need to get your friends together 
and come out and do this in the spring in Tennessee. It's a great time. And, and being from the Northeast, we never get a chance really to hunt with dogs. A little coon hunting here and there. This is something you really need to experience. Are we gonna go look at this hog? That was awesome. That was. We will name this one breakfast sausage. He got right. He <laughs> got right, right in that little ditch right there. He got a good broadside, you know. This is Nickname dog had him right. Link sausage. That's old Link. Man, it didn't look like you had hey, any kind hey, of hole at all. What's with not bringing the A team dogs in first day? Well, I, I walked up. I mean, there we was thick, and then I, when I stepped up, I just, boom, there's, it's wide open. So. Oh, it was good. And man, you moved like a cat. I, Ain't it amazing? I, 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 That's I mean, right. You're like a mongoose. Bones That's right. You, <laughs> you weren't on pins and needles going up to that. Yeah, the camera can't even stay up with me because it's like too it's fast. Like, we're getting one of those high-speed cameras for yeah. you, so you can really see you Shutter moving. Shutter speed don't video yeah. much. Michael's even said before. He said uh, he said that that's got to be jelly because jam don't shake like that. <laughs> go ahead. Shut to the heart and keep on to blame. You give the Tekken a good name. Oh, man. <laughs> Not bad. Going on that. Right. I wrote it last night. I knew it. That's a karaoke song. <laughs> T-Bone's got one. I'm a happy man. It's like, all of a sudden, it's like, da -da 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 -da. when's it going to happen? When's it going to happen? And it's, it's over with. All of a sudden. Hey, the big man put him down. I mean, that boar, everybody was on pins and needles. Like I said, I'd been attacked the day before. People had seen the footage. It wasn't pretty. And I have to tell you, uh, it, wasn't, uh, it wasn't the best things that were happening to me. And uh, the guys were a little apprehensive, but Travis moved up, got on that boar who was fighting with the dogs, and when the shot presented itself, he, he put him down like he's supposed to. So congratulations, Travis. Next, we have Michael Waddell. Stay tuned, we'll be bringing that to you after these messages. We've got more action coming up. Stay tuned. Ken Moody Hunting TV will be right back. What can I say about Michael Waddell that hasn't already been said? I mean, the guy's hunted with me in Africa, did his first Plains Game Safari with me and my company, and this was his first hunt at Clark Range Hunting Lodge. And, uh, you know, he had a lot of fun. Uh, he is exactly what you see. Uh, what you see is what you get. He is easy going. Nice guy, big cut up. The only problem I have with Michael Waddell is whenever I'm around him, my cheeks hurt from all the laughing we do. I'm serious, the guy is a comic. And a great hunter, and he took a great boar on this hunt. We've got Michael Waddell out here. We've been chasing this hog for 45 minutes. He's so big, the dogs can't hold him. He just keeps breaking on us. We're gonna try him again. I was chomping at the bit, man. It was, it was my turn now. I guess the best time to do it, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to go on the fence line, come back up this way. Brush right here. Right here. Okay. He's right there. 20 yards. Can you get him? Watch out. 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 Right to it, right to it. 
Let's go down there for you. Let's go down there for you. We're going to get this joke. We're going to get this joke. You come at us a little bit. I was beginning to have doubts. I was thinking, man, please don't let what happened to Ken happen to me or anybody in our group that was trying to get this hog in the truck. He got an attitude, major league attitude. He blinds a mean dude. That's one like that kid. That's just like the bit that got killed. Man. Go in. Mm -hmm. Right, we okay. I'm gonna okay, I just I just trying to make sure you got I had him. He had a little court, he had a way a little quarter to me. I wanna block that. That's a big hog, man. Big hog. hog. Three hundred pound hog. Here we go. Here we go. Threw him like a slick as a ribbon, didn't it? That's the shot we can throw right there, Mike. Dead arrow going right through. Yeah, that was perfect. I was on to get him. That's a mean son of a gun right there, boy. That's a mean son of a gun. Freaking hard. Big fat. Big fat. Hang on a second, I'll fix it. You better. That was awesome, dude. Unbelievable. That good shot. Absolutely. <laughs> That's what it should be. That was one yeah, bad guy. I'll tell you what, after what we went through yesterday, I hog did the same thing. That's awesome, John. He was John ready to over. turn. That's it, bro. What's up, Burley? That hey. was cool, man. Unbelievable. Now tell me that board did not run these guys around. I mean, you don't <clears throat> get a full appreciation 
for that hunt by watching it on the TV show or DVD. But that hog broke bay, broke bay, broke bay. They'd get close, he'd break and run, break and run. And that's what they do. We don't use catch dogs here at Clark Ranch Hunting Lodge. We use bay dogs. And uh, what they do is chase the boar, bring him to bay, and you have to move in quietly, move in slowly, move in, you know, to try to get the shot. And Michael and crew were persistent. They stayed on that hog and stayed on that hog. And hey, this was not a cool uh, fall or a cold winter day. This was in late spring. It was hot, 70, 80 degrees, humidity was up. These guys stuck it out and he was able to nail that big old hog. Well, I hope you enjoyed our show today. And remember, next week we continue this wild boar hunting extravaganza here at Clark Range Hunting Lodge. So stay tuned to Ken Moody Hunting TV next week. And remember, if you're not having fun, you're not doing it right. <laughs>